what's up, everybody? Welcome to Unstoppable Friday. On Unstoppable Fridays, I use this very different format in my channel to tell you about my SaaS business that we're building uh, and part of our 1 million ARR challenge. This is where we're taking a SaaS business from literally $0 to a million ARR. That's our challenge. We're gonna do it as quickly as possible. We're gonna do it based on all the principles that I teach inside of my SaaS school program. And we're gonna give you the behind the scenes play by play on how we navigate the twists and turns to get to this 1 million ARR. So on this episode, I'm gonna cover two things. Well, the first thing I'm gonna cover is a little bit on the backstory on how this app came about and what it means to me, why we created Unstoppable Sunday, which is the app and the program. And the second thing we're gonna dig into, which is really the bulk of this episode, are, is uh, the actual SaaS metrics that we are using to measure our progress to make decisions on what to focus on next to improve our core unstoppable sales funnel and to actually navigate the path to a million ARR and navigate the path to product market fit. So if you're excited to dig in, go ahead and smash that like button. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and that bell icon so that you get notified every single time I bring you a new episode. In case you haven't figured it out by now, I bring a new episode three times a week to help SaaS founders navigate the path to the next stage of growth and to product market fit. So that's what we're all about here. So welcome. If you're already part of the community, welcome back. It's really great to see you here. So first, let me give you a little bit of background around why uh, and how I came to this. Um, so I've done SaaS businesses for the last 15 years through various twists and turns. I've had multiple exits. I've helped companies exit. In fact, um, I started and sold two SaaS businesses and the two businesses that sold, uh, that bought my two SaaS businesses, the ones I created, uh, I was part of the, the process to help sell them as well. So it's been an incredible ride. And I, I knew that for this next stage of my journey, a uh, part of what I wanted to do was give back. And that's really how this came to be. During my founder journey, I had to deal with some of the highest of highs and some of the lowest of lows. And what I realized the hard way was that I really needed to figure out how to keep my mindset in check. What I realized was 50% of this SaaS game, of this startup game, and it's really hard and there's a lot of things you gotta figure out, 50% of it is really figuring out how to navigate your mindset. And so I picked up a set of skills, a set of tools that no one really handed to me as a founder. I wish someone did, but no one did. No one said like, hey, you're a startup founder now. Hey, you just raised $15 million of funding. Here's how to manage your mindset for that. No one did that. And so I had to learn it the hard way. And luckily I was a student of personal development. I've been a big fan of Tony Robbins, Jim Rohn, Steve Pavlina. And I learned a ton and I really dug into like, how do I manage my mindset through these ups and downs? Taudap, which was my last SaaS business, every quarter was different. We were growing so fast, every quarter was different. Every time we raised money, like everything changed again. And I had to reprogram my mind to keep up. And so I realized very quickly that mindset was an important thing and I picked up a unique set of skills. One of the most important things that I learned was Sunday. Sunday was super important. I don't know if you encountered this as a founder, but as founders, uh, as we go through the week, we are, it's like Narnia, right? Like you're just cranking, you're just going so hard at it and you're trying to keep up with everything. But then when the weekend comes, you're almost like forced to slow down and you know, you gotta go and go home and like you want the downtime and you are tired, but you can't turn the brain off. And I equate that to a little bit of like a Ferrari going through a 20 miles per hour school zone. A Ferrari is good at two things. It can either stand still and look hot or it can go really fast. 20 miles per hour through a school zone is really hard. And I struggled with that. I struggled with that through the weekend because I felt like I was at Ferrari running, going 20 miles per hour. It's like awkward. I don't know how to slow down. I should take downtime. I don't know how to turn my head off from work. It's hard, like I've been there. I'm sure you're going through it too. And Sunday was the worst because somehow by Saturday night, I was like unplugged. But by the time Sunday came in, because I was unplugged, I felt all this anxiety. It turns out that's called the Sunday scaries, the Sunday jitters, the Sunday, what am I even doing with my life? The, is this gonna work? Or are we all gonna die? And it's only 10 a.m., like it's crazy. And so what I learned was that Sunday scaries is a real thing. And it doesn't happen because you're any lesser. It happens because of that transition into the work week. And so about 10 years ago, maybe like eight years ago, I started doing this thing. Every Sunday I would sit down, I would work on my mindset. If it's just 30 minutes, I would just in a Google, running Google doc, I'd be like, where am I and what do I do next? Those are the two questions I would answer. 
And through that practice that I developed, I practiced gratitude. I paused and reflected. I figured out what was working, what was not. And I really set an intention for what I wanted in the coming week. And I did that consistently and consistently and consistently. And that really shifted my mindset as a founder. That allowed me to go into any situation. There were weeks in my SaaS business where we almost died and I had to do layoffs. And I was able to manage that and go into that week because of Unstoppable Sunday, because I would just be able to sit down and just process everything. And it somehow made me feel better. There were weeks where it was incredible. We had just sold a company and we were going into this new chapter. And even then I practiced Unstoppable before I got in front of a crowd of 5,000 people and announced the acquisition of the company. So through those twists and turns, I kept doing this one practice. And once we sold Tout App, and then I helped sell, uh, to Marketo, and then I helped sell Marketo to Adobe, then I kind of took a little bit of downtime. I'm like, okay, what do I do next? And one of the things I wanted to do was give back. I wanted to give back to not just the founder community, but just people in general. Because I was like, they should teach us this in the third grade. They should teach us this on how to plan our weeks on a, on a Sunday. They should teach us on how to set goals for the year. They should teach us on how to create a vision for ourselves five years from now. You know, we go about making all these business decisions. We create a strategy for our business. We don't create a strategy for our life. And so I know this is going on for a little bit, but hopefully the backstory is helpful. What I ended up doing was I ended up create, writing a book. Uh, it's How to Punch the Sunday Jitters in the Face. This is the book. You can get it off of Amazon. And it essentially teaches you the principles that I applied over the last 10 years to get my mindset right as a founder. It teaches the Unstoppable Sunday practice, which is a planning practice every Sunday to get your mindset right. It helps you create a one-year goal. It helps you create a five-year vision. And it helps you adopt the right mindset to actually go execute on those goals, to reach that higher performance. And I wrote this book and we self-published it and I had a little bit of help to market it. And fortunately, we sold over 4,000 copies of this book. It became an Amazon bestseller across seven different countries, 12 different categories. And the book was so successful, I created an online program. I created a sort of a training program on how to apply all the principles. And I call that the Unstoppable Life School. So we have SaaS school and then we have Life School. And as part of that, as we were like, we had the training, we do these group Zoom calls where I like teach people how to apply these things, do Q&A. We're like, we should have software. This is a perfect example, perfect case, perfect market for a SaaS business. And that's when this Unstoppable Sunday app was created. And what the app does is it helps you practice on Stoppable Sunday. It's got video, it's interactive, it helps you practice it every Sunday, it helps you write it all down, keep it secure, and then it texts you through the week. It texts you on a Monday to say, hey, have a great week. It texts you on a Wednesday to say, hey, check in on the intentions you set for the week. How did they go? How did your goals go? It texts you on a Friday to celebrate your wins, and then again on Sunday to say, hey, let's practice on Stoppable Sunday again. And it gets you into this routine. So that's what the SaaS app is, it's a, and we want to take it to a million ARR, this whole live school business. So that's the backstory. And so in prior episodes, I talked through sort of like how we got to developing the idea, like who do we want to serve, who are the people? So you can check that out down below, I'll link to it. And then in, a, in another episode, I talked about how we're going about building our unstoppable sales funnel. And unstoppable sales funnel is what we teach SaaS founders to create, to actually scale their revenue growth. Even, and we have an unstoppable mini funnel to actually get to initial revenue growth. So uh, I covered that in a prior episode. I'll link to that below as well. And then this crazy graphic, which I'm sure made sense when I was walking and explaining it, really goes into what our current funnel looks like, right? And I'll, I'll link to that down below as well. What I wanted to share in this episode is now that we've got Live School running and we've got about 30 members on it, uh, we've got people using the application. Um, the application is new. We had the program and then we added the application. So the application is starting to take adoption. I wanted to show you how we're tracking our SaaS metrics. Now, um, for those of you who have followed me for a while, we have a specific way of tracking SaaS metrics. If you want to learn about that, I'll link to it below. This is the SaaS metrics. We use the Pirate framework. It was pioneered by Dave McClure. It, it, it follows some core business principles that makes it makes a lot of sense for SaaS businesses. And so I'll link to that video before, uh, below so you can learn more about it. But this is the spreadsheet we log into every week on how our business is doing. And so I wanted to give you a back behind the scenes glimpse into that because I think that'll give you some idea of how it's trending so that we can give you the progress updates as we go on as we continue to make changes. So I'll kind of explain what we have here. Uh, this is essentially our unstoppable sales funnel and our SaaS business metrics. So on the top, we have our manifestos. These are the ways we actually get people to notice us, right? We do this YouTube video. I have an Instagram account. We have prior YouTube videos we've done around this, the Sunday scaries. 
we run ads, and all of them lead into our core manifesto, which is right now the book and the digital version is our life planning guide. And so by the way, if you want a free copy of this book, just go to tkcater.com slash book and you can get a, literally a free copy. And you can also check out our Unstoppable Sales Funnel as you go through it. Free copy, I will ship it to you. It'll help you get the right founder mindset. So we have that. And then as people get into our core funnel, then they actually get into our application. Either they're trialing the application. We have a free, uh, we have a uh, trial that's like, I think a 14 day trial that Steven and I put in. And then we upsell them either to a monthly plan or the full program. The monthly plan is just the application. And then the full program is the application plus the training plus a copy of the book. So we're, we're treating this as a SaaS and an info business. And that's how we're scaling it. But it's a real solution to help you get the mindset right. Everything you need, the training, the app, the, so the software and the support, everything, you get everything. And so that's the backstory. This is the, the, uh, this is the, the spreadsheet we're using. By the way, this template we give to people inside of our SaaS school. When you're in our SaaS school, we help you scale your SaaS business. We help you get your market product and go-to-market strategy right. All the principles that I'm using to grow this business are things that we teach inside the program. So uh, this template is something we teach inside of the program. This is the template we're using. If you want to adopt it, join SaaS school. You can also watch that SaaS metrics video to understand the principles behind it. But I wanted to give you an idea of like how things are trending. So overall, we make revenues in two ways, three ways. Uh, the first is through the book. Now, when we sell a book, it is free. We ship it to you, but we charge shipping and handling, and we make a tiny amount of profit on that. And that pays for running ads and our lead acquisition cost. Then we upsell you either through a webinar or a video into what we call our live school. Live school gives you our software, gives you our training, gives you access to a group Zoom call, all of it holistically. And we're just now, like it's been a little weird with COVID and my attention was turned away. You will see like the free books are starting to scale up. The upsell to the live program, we just had to reboot. So we'll hopefully start to see that scale up. Uh, and then once people are in the program or they're trialing the application, the third way they can try it is they can trial the application. Uh, if you want to trial the application, uh, go to, just go to unstopplesunday.com. And then from there, we track how many people are, and this is our core SaaS metrics, how many people are we acquiring? How many people are activating? Activating means they actually practice Sunday. They, they actually follow the steps. And how many people are coming back? What's our retention? And then what's their conversion to revenue? What you'll notice is our big money maker is likely not going to be the thing where people just sign up for the app and then start converting. It may be, but we don't think it'll be. Our big money maker is going to be where people download our manifesto, come to our training and sign up for a full year of the program. And the program is like a mindset program. We probably like 80% of the people in the program are founders. The other 20% are high achievers. And they're like, I want to get my life plan right. I want to get my life strategy right. I want to adopt an unstoppable mindset. I want to go execute. And that, those are the people. Uh, and you can learn more about that in the book. And so this is kind of the beginning pieces. Like we really started to put in a lot of effort into this starting last week, really, to really market this and take it to a million ARR. So it's been relatively flat from before. Uh, Steven's looking at it right now. And so what, what, what we're looking to do is starting to actually put in some more ad dollars that will get more people to discover our movement and our manifesto, which will then come to our training, and then we'll actually come into the life program and start using the application. So it's our hope, you'll see that our activation is starting to go up. We have more and more people practicing Sunday and we're migrating people from an old version of the app to the new app. So this number will go up even more, we'll probably get to about the thir full 30 that we have on the program, and then we'll scale it from there. And what this allows us to do is every week we track these metrics. I have time set aside every Monday to look at all the pieces of data and manually put it all into this one ledger. I do that not automatically, but manually because it forces me to really dig into like, okay, what are the core pieces? What's working and what's not? Then we essentially become a diagnostician. It's very rare that you launch a SaaS business and it all just takes up right from the beginning. That's why it's super important just get it out there. Once you get it out there, then you can collect a bunch of data. We collected a bunch of data over the last few weeks and then we made some changes last week. We made some changes last week and you can start to see the retention metrics are already, and the activation metrics are already going up. And so now what we're able to say is like, okay, cool. So uh, we need to obviously optimize on more people signing up. We, do, we had this sales presentation that was very COVID specific. Now we're switching it to something that's a lot more like non-COVID specific because we're in this weird post-COVID era. And so we know that will start to come back up. That's how we got the 30 people. And then the other thing we need to do is continue to improve our activation. Like, right, we want more people to be activating uh, out of the people that are signing up. So those are the key things that we'll start looking at. And every time we make a change, 
we'll kind of log that in our change log over here so that we know next week when we look at these metrics, if these changes actually made a difference. So those are the core SaaS metrics that we're looking at. We look at acquisition, activation, retention, revenue. That, that's what we're looking at. We're not looking at referral right now. Those are the four we look at. And we're actually applying an unstoppable sales funnel to get in leads, to discover the program and to, and to buy, the, buy the software and the training program. So that's what I wanted to give you. I'm super excited about it. If you enjoyed this video and you enjoy this type of format, please smash that like button. If you're new, hit the subscribe button and that bell icon. Um, if you got value from this, uh, please share it with a friend. If you have a fellow SaaS founder that wants to see these behind the scenes videos, if you enjoyed this, uh, comment below. Let me know what you thought about this new format we're trying, this behind the scenes. If there are other aspects of the SaaS business behind the scenes you want me to take you, put that in the comments below. So we'll queue that up in a future episode. Uh, and also remember, you know, you're watching this because you're likely a founder. So I highly encourage you to get a free copy of my book. I ship it to you and it's a physical copy. And uh, all we charge is the shipping and handling fee. I, I, I like essentially pay for the printing, you pay for the shipping, and we make like a dollar on it, not even. Like it's just like enough cushion so that we don't lose any money on it. And so this book will teach you how to really adopt a founder mindset. It's everything that I learned from being a founder over the last 10 years of scaling SaaS businesses, both, both venture, cap, venture backed, also being a senior executive. So this is essentially like, it truly is for founders and to get your founder mindset right. It's super important. So go ahead and grab a free copy of my book. If you prefer Kindle, uh, you can get it off of Amazon as well. That's also an option. If you wanna pay the full price, the $24, you can get the physical copy off of Amazon as well. And then also, uh, if, if there's like, get the book. What the book will teach you is the importance of Unstoppable Sunday. If you wanna practice Unstoppable Sunday, go to unstoppablesunday.com and sign up for the application and I'll guide you through practicing that. That's all I have for you today. Hopefully you got value from this. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. I bring you an episode three times a week on scaling and building and starting and exiting SaaS businesses. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and that bell icon. Again, it's really awesome to see you. Thank you so much. I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next episode.